Hey guys, what's up? Reason Hockey here. So, we are definitely going to be out of commission there for a while because my trailer got broken into at the storage unit we store at. And I uh, thought I'd do a little video on this. And maybe find the guy. Cops ain't going to do anything because they say he's got a mental problem, so he gets away with it. So, I'll show you the trailer. This is what we found when we got called finally halfway through the day after it happened. The weed eater's gone off the rack. Leaf blower's gone. These have been torn through, getting all the tools, getting all the small things out. He was getting ready to make away with all that. He stole a trash can to get all this stuff out of here in time. He stole my gas cans that had anything in it except for this one because it's empty. He stole the, uh, the light hedger attachment and then the swivel one that's super expensive. I think it paid like 400 bucks for it, a little under. And then the edger attachment, he stole that. He broke my lights that I had. Uh, what else did he mess with? He tried getting the lawnmower out, but it wouldn't fit it out through the door right here because of the fence. Took the trimmer off the wall right there. It's just crazy what people do to make a couple of dollars to buy their crack or whatever. But, hey, all the cops told us was to uh, lock it up and put an alarm system on the trailer. But then that's why we paid the storage. But, hey, whatever. Make it harder next time. Yeah, just make it harder next time. What's that about? Way to go, system. All right, guys. So, it's the next day. We're back at the house with the trailer. Uh, I'm going to give you another quick view of it with the hatch down I'll flip it around it was worse than this but we had to clean it up a little bit to drive it on the highway cut the lights I don't know what he's planning on doing I guess stealing them they had all this trash out I had another trash can like that one I don't remember what I said yesterday so if I'm repeating myself just you know but he used that trash can, the other one, to load up the three weed eaters and the leaf blower and the chainsaw we had right there. And all the attachments, the uh, straight hedger, the uh, swivel hedger, and the uh, uh, edger. I think we had a weed eater head too for the shaft, but all that's gone. There's some... He tried getting this guy, like I said yesterday, I remember that. He couldn't get it out the door. Yeah, you see where he tried. He damaged the door frame. But he left all kinds of trash in here. Dumped the trash can out right here. Because we just did a mulching job last weekend. Left the bags. As you can see, the cabinets are buried. Took all my ratchet straps, except for a strap, but not the ratchet. He left that. Probably didn't know how to use it, so he just left it. All the tools and stuff, everything we had underneath here is gone. Well, at least it left me a blade for the edge, right? So, the cop that was there doing the report and everything, he said he knew the guy, knew where he lived. But he couldn't do anything. They weren't going to arrest him. Even though they have him on video doing it, they don't care. The guy has some issues so they said that with that being the deal the state won't deal with him I asked to press charges because that is I think insurance added it up when we we're on the phone with him that $2,500 worth of equipment that the guy just walked away with and by the way insurance won't pay for it because it was at a storage lot and it wasn't hooked up to my car so my auto insurance won't cover it and my renter's insurance, because we live on an army base, it won't cover it. So, yeah, we just lost that on everything. We probably won't get it back. Even the cop said that the guys probably already sold it for meth. So, I guess that's how it goes. You work your butt off or something, and then somebody comes along and takes it, and they get away free. So, But we're probably going to... I don't, know, I don't want to say end it, but I mean, we have nothing left. Uh, we don't have a weed eater now. We don't have a leaf blower. 
Uh, we got a couple lawn mowers, but you mow a couple lawns, but you can't clean up the grass or the edges or anything. So I'm actually going to take, I'm going to clean up the trailer now, get everything out of it, clean it up real good, and uh, probably post it for sale. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And if it doesn't sell, I guess we'll try it again, but I don't know. I mean, we, we just don't have anything. We're, we're not a company right now. You gotta, you gotta have some equipment to be a company. You gotta have, you know, the go power right now. We have no go power. But it's a crazy deal, and the cops basically wouldn't do anything about it. So they just told us to lock it up tighter, put an alarm system on the trailer. I mean, what good does that do? But all the cops said was just make them work for it. So, alright guys, so I'll end this video here, I just wanted to do a next day video, maybe run back through it, so you guys can see and maybe learn from this too, I don't know, especially you guys with the um, utility trailers that just has everything out in the open, definitely lock it up, chain it up, put it up, whatever you gotta do, because this was an enclosed trailer, as you can see, he, he grabbed the door and just pulled it, it's, it's not that hard, but this was at a storage unit that was behind a fence and it was secured it had alarms and everything but the guy apparently had a unit there and he was in there in his unit and he was he came broke into the trailer he broke into some other cars that were stored there a boat all this is on video too so like i said just be careful make sure your stuff is secure because people will walk away with it and they'll get away with it just it so all right guys so i'm gonna end the video like i said reads lunk here out